Hey guys, Avi here and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, I'm going to be continuing our Java series learning all about conditional statements in Java. Let's get started. So first thing first, what is a conditional statement? Now, if you're coming from a language like Python or Swift, you've definitely dealt with conditional statements before. I'm going to give you a quick breeze over with Java. Conditional statements allow you to check if some condition, either true or false, and do an action based on that condition. For example, I could have a condition is rainy, and from some operation, I get a Boolean value, true or false. I then check to see what that Boolean value is, and based on that condition, I can perform an action. If you're a human and you see that it's raining outside, you're like, oh, I need to get an umbrella. That's the exact same way conditional statements work in any programming language. To, in order to create our very own conditional statement, we need to go ahead and incorporate something known as if and else statements. The way this works is you have something called if a condition is true, you will run the following code, run following code. And otherwise, if the condition is not true, I will do this instead. So this is the gist of every single conditional statement in Java. You have if, which basically means that, okay, if my following condition is true, I'm going to go ahead and print hello. Otherwise, if my condition is false, I will do something else instead. And the basis of every single conditional statement works off this sort of conditioning. Now, what is a condition? What do I actually mean by that? A condition is any statement that gives you a Boolean value that can be either true or false. Now in Java, there are six types of relational operators that we haven't discussed yet, but I'm going to cover right now. What are those six relational operators? Well, you have something known as greater than five greater than two. You will have something like five less than two. You could have something like five greater than or equal to two or five less than or equal to two, five equal to equal to two, and then five not equal to two. So what's happening in each scenario? Five greater than two checks to see if five is actually a greater value. Five less than two is the opposite. Five greater than or equal to two takes into account what if these two numbers are also equal to each other. Five less than or equal to is the same thing, like the less than, but also equal to. The equal to equal to compares the actual values. This condition would be true if it was five equal to equal to five. Any other value like two would be false. And then five not equal to two is the exact opposite. I can use not equals to to check to see if my two values are not the same. So these are your six conditions. I would definitely suggest getting used to them if you're not already and make sure you know what these are because they'll be very useful in future projects, future code, knowing these six are very helpful. But anyways, using any of these six relational operators, you can write your very own condition that gives you a true or false value. So my condition can be something like this. If five greater than two, again, make sure that this condition is in brackets. Then I have my curly braces and I'm going to go ahead and put some code in here. So if five greater than two, and this condition is always true, I'm going to say system the out print line. Um, the condition was true. Otherwise, if this condition is not true, which is right now currently not possible, I'm going to say the condition was false. Awesome. So right now, if I hover over this, it's going to say condition five greater than two is always true. We know that, but I'm just trying to show you what you can possibly do with conditional statements. So let's go ahead and save this guys and Java C main dot Java, Java main. And let's take a look. The condition was true. Awesome. So what actually happened here, guys, let me just run over this one more time. We have our condition. Java evaluates this condition and tells us if it's true or false. If the condition is true, it will go ahead and execute the if statement. Otherwise, if it's not true, it'll go ahead and go to the default case else and then run system the out the print line. The condition was false. So now let's go ahead and give it a false condition five less than two. So if five less than two, obviously we know it's going to print out the condition was false. Just to test this theory out, we can say Java C main dot Java, Java main, the condition was false. Awesome. So again, these are conditional statements in Java and I'm sure you have this question now. Okay. I know this if and else, but what if I have multiple conditions? What if I have if, and then another condition and then another condition, and then finally have my else statement. That's where the else if was created. So between this if and else, if you want to go ahead and check for more conditions, you can do an else if, and the else if works exactly like you think it works. If this condition is not true, it's going to go ahead and check this condition. If this connection, if that condition is not true, then it will go ahead and run the else block. So in this case, I'm going to say else if five greater than three 
then I can go ahead and say something like print system out that print line. Um, the else if the else if condition was true. Okay, so go ahead and save that and run it and let's see what happens. So Java C main not Java, Java main, and then we get the else if condition was true. So using this if else if else sort of block, you can go through as many conditions as you want. We're like repeating them over and over and over again. So if else if that else if that else if that, if none of those four conditions were true, then go ahead and go to the else block and print something out. Awesome. So now you've understood the general statement and the general block of conditional statements. There's one last thing that I want to point out in this video, and that is the chaining of conditions. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is create two variables. I'm going to create a Boolean value called is raining and set this equal to true. And then I'm going to create a Boolean value has umbrella. And for now, set this equal to true. Okay. So the way my if and else condition is going to work is if the user sees rain, so if it's rainy, and also if the user has an umbrella, then I'm gonna print out take an umbrella, okay? And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna chain two conditions together. I'm comparing is rainy to true, but I also have to compare has umbrella to true in the exact same line. In order to do that, guys, there's a very cool operator called the and operator in Java that allows us to chain multiple conditions together. So what I'm gonna go and do is say if, is rainy and I don't have to specify equal to true, but I'll do that in the scenario. So it is rainy equal to true and has umbrella equal to true, then do something. And as you can see, my and operator right over here, that is what links my two conditions together. If this condition is true and also this condition is true, then I want to go ahead and print out take your umbrella, right? And that makes perfect sense. If is rainy is equal to true and has umbrella is equal to true, then system that out of print line, take your umbrella. So what's actually happening here, guys, it says right over here, is rainy is equal to true, can be simplified to is rainy. And the reason why it's saying that is your if statement can be just that. But just to show you the comparison going on over here, I'm gonna keep the equal to equal to true. And now it's like, what's gonna happen is, what's we're gonna link these two conditions together and we're gonna check to see if both of these variables are true. Now to chain and show you the or operation, I'm gonna say else if, if it is rainy, so if it's rainy, but you don't have your umbrella or vice versa, has umbrella is equal to true. So again, this is the or operation. And what the or operation does is it's two sort of like straight slashes and it compares these two conditions and checks to see as long as one of these conditions is true, doesn't have to be both, then this entire condition will be true. And inside of this, I'm gonna say something like system.out.println s out. Um, it is either raining or you have an umbrella or both. And what's actually happening here, guys, is that I have two Boolean values now. By chaining the or operation, I just need one of these conditions to be true. Either it is raining or have an umbrella or both of these is true. And that is the power of the or operation. So again, and makes that both of these conditions have to be true and or makes it such that only one of these conditions have to be true. And then last but not least, guys, I'm going to just implement an else and be like um, system that out the print line. Uh, it is not raining. OK, so go ahead and save that. And now let's run it and go through some different variations. So Java C main not Java, Java main, take your umbrella. And the reason for that is because is raining and has umbrella are both true. Now, what if it is not raining? So if is raining is equal to false, but has umbrella is equal to true. Let's run this and Java main. And then we get it is either raining or you have an umbrella or both. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Again, with these conditional statements, we chained two conditions together. And by comparing both of these using the or segment, we're just saying that, hey, one of these conditions has to be true. And then last but not least, if both of these are false, go ahead and save that. Java C main not Java, Java main, it is not raining. Awesome job, guys. That is conditional statements in Java in a nutshell. I would definitely recommend for you to try and playing out with these, write some of your own conditional statements, just feel comfortable with them because this is the crux of all conditions in Java. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.